The following program is recommended for viewing by the Ohio Education Association. Nobody knows where we're going. We're on our way to a place just for us. We're heading to Hickory Hideout. Nobody knows where we're going. Let's get away today cause it's our time to play. Nutso. But, but Good morning and welcome to Hickory Hideout. <laughs> now, Nutso, you can tell us what your surprise is. Uh, well, well, uh, wait till dug you this see. Hole. Oh, what a great hole. <laughs> Nutso, you could probably bury a whole bushel full of nuts in that oh, hole. I bet two bushels. Wow, that's that's really some hole, Nutso. Mm. That, that's that's quite a surprise. <laughs> that's not my surprise. It isn't? No. Uh, is the surprise in the hole? <gasps> oh, not so. Come on, what did you put inside the hole? Is, did you bury something in the hole? And nothing is in the hole. Nothing is in the hole? No. That's a surprise. Yeah, that sure is a surprise. I thought the surprise was the hole. Yeah. The hole has nothing to do with my surprise. <laughs> Take it easy, little buddy. Take it easy. All right, now, why don't you... We're sorry for upsetting you. Now, what is your surprise? Oh, well, Cassie, mm -hmm. this is really going to knock your socks off. <laughs> you see, know what, Alan and I... Oh, oh, you know what that means. It's time But for... I'm talking to you. I'm telling you about my surprise. Well, well let's all see. <laughs> First, we've got to have time for Wayne Talks. Two. No, wait a minute. Just forget it. Here. Give that to Know It Al. I wasn't going to tell you anyway. I'm leaving. Well, oh, Wayne, uh, I think you better go get him. Okay, Cass. That's all. <laughs> and in the meantime, it's time for Wayne Talks to the Animals. at Seidel's Fun Farm to talk to the animals this morning with Adam. Hi, How Adam. you doing? It's good to see you again. What's this guy's name? Okay, this name, his name is Napoleon. It's Napoleon. Baby Napoleon. <laughs> Hi, Napoleon. He's really rooting after this grass. Is that what he normally eats? No, Napoleon normally just, he just gets corn and grain, ground up corn. Uh-huh. Now, I've heard the expression uh, that, a, that a hog roots. Is that, is this what he's doing there? Yes, what he's doing is digging nose. it up and eating the grass. Uh-huh. Look at his, his nose is really hard. Is that normal for a pig to be like that? Oh yeah, it's real hard. That's how they dig up the grass and dig up the roots. So his nose is like a shovel. That's exactly what Whoa. it is. <laughs> and he eats roots and things. How big will this guy get? Okay, well, I'll just tell you, Napoleon's mother is three years old. Mm -hmm. She's three foot high and weighs 400 pounds. So he could get a lot bigger, a lot than, bigger this. than this. Wow, that's is that what kind of, of pig is he? Okay, Napoleon's a Yorkshire. Yorkshires are these white ones, and uh -huh. they're longer. Uh huh. So they, it's normal for them to get that. Yeah. Big. Wow. <laughs> How much does he eat in a given day? Oh, Napoleon, right now he only eats a couple pounds of feed a day. Only a couple yeah. of pounds of feed a day. <laughs> And I've always heard it said that, that pigs are really dirty and messy, and, and Napoleon here is nice and clean. Did you clean him up just for us? Well, no. Pigs <laughs> actually get a bum rap in that terms. Really? See, pigs don't have sweat glands, so if there's mud for them to lay in, they'll lay in it just to cool down their body. 
So they, there's a practical reason for them to get in the mud. Yep, that's why pigs lay in the mud. They don't do it because they want to get dirty, uh, and they don't do it because they want to play in it. So it's not fair if we want to wallow in the mud just because pigs do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now, you told me earlier that pigs are really very intelligent. I thought they were kind of dumb. No, the pig is the smartest animal on the farm. No kidding. What can it do? Well, actually, the pig can eat all his feed by himself. He feed, eats as much as he should, uh -huh. but not too much. So, but if... So uh, if, if you gave a lot of food to him, he'd know when to stop. Sure thing. Now a cow or anything else, they would just keep on eating, they'd get sick. But a mm. pig, they're smart. They know just where to eat. <laughs> Are they really clever about getting out of the pens and stuff? Are they hard to keep that way? Um, well, we have good fences, <laughs> but uh, But they're usually pretty clever about that, I hear. Oh, they try hard. Yeah. Well, you're really a very nice fellow to meet. I'm glad to know you, Napoleon. Thanks for talking to the animals. It's been fun. It's been fun. And now, back to Hickory Hideout. Not so. Not so. Oh, where is that squirrel? Hey, Wayne. Have you found Not so yet? Not a trace. Not so. Oh. Uh, I don't know, I don't know where, where he could, he could be. Let me know it out. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's no it out. Oh, what's all this racket? What's going on here? Can't an owl work on a galley proof in peace and quiet? Oh, uh, sorry, no doubt. Is not so in there with you? Wayne, you couldn't actually believe, could you, that I could pursue any train of academic thought with that young rapscallion uh, bouncing around, could you? Well, no, not really. <laughs> oh, well, no doubt we feel sort of bad. I mean, we were down in the park and we were sort of teasing Nutso about this surprise and he got angry. Oh, he's surprised. <laughs> I almost forgot. Here, uh, <laughs> Nutso asked me to give this to you, Know It Al. For me? Mm-hmm. From Nutso? Yeah. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> I don't Why know. Why don't you open it up? Okay. <laughs> Here it is. There's got to be a mistake. Oh, Wayne, that wasn't very nice. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is Shirley's report card, though. Uh, now, wait a minute, you two. Nutso isn't stupid, you know. Well, no, no, Al, but reading has never been Nutso's best subject. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well, that was B.T. B.T.? B.T.? Yes, before tutoring. What do you mean? Well, you see, last year, uh, Nutso was telling me about how he was having all this trouble in reading and that it just didn't make any sense to him, you know? Yeah. And he felt he was just slipping further and further behind. Well, I told him that he'd probably just missed a few of little steps along the way and that if I could help him straighten himself out, I would be more than happy to help. Yeah, his test scores weren't very good. Mm. <laughs> yes. Well... I will modestly say that when Mrs. Squirrely approached me about tutoring Nutso, why, I was more than delighted to help. Uh -huh. Oh, you mean you've been helping Nutso with his reading? Exactly, and after that, Nutso began to make considerable progress. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's really swell. That's good. That was really <laughs> nice of you, Know It Al. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> well, you'll have to excuse me now. I have to go make arrangements. Arrangements? Mm -hmm. Yes, for Nutso's reward. You see, I told him that if he could get a B or better yeah. in reading, I would give him and a friend of his choice a trip to any place he's ever <gasps> wanted to go. <laughs> wow, that's really nice. That's <laughs> real nice. Where did Nutso want to go, Nora? <laughs> How can you believe this? You know, not so. Well, I suggested the John White room at the library, of course. Oh, oh. Delightful spot. <laughs> but you know, not so. He had to have his way, and he wants to go on an all-day camp out and hike. Oh. oh. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to go make a phone call. Mm -hmm. I have to call his little friend Bob to see if he can go. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the young man that's going with us. Oh. Nice boy, Bob. 
Okay. Well, anyway, I have to call him to see when he can go. Okay. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you around, know it all. certainly nice of know it all to plan that kind of a trip. Boy, it really was. Have you ever heard of this friend, Bob, though? Bob. No, I I don't know, Bobby. He's probably just one of Nutso's friends from school. But Nutso and Shirley have never mentioned him. No, that's true. <laughs> I can't help thinking about poor Noadel going on an all-day hike with Nutso and a friend. They're gonna wear him <laughs> out. He'll be exhausted. Oh, hi, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl, did you hear the good news? No, what? Nutso got a B plus in reading. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, Cassie, that was B plus in math. No, no, no. show you. Read it for yourself. B plus in reading. Nutso. B plus. Yeah. <laughs> in reading. Uh huh. <gasps> oh, she fainted. Now oh, come on, come Shirley. On. It's not that impossible. <laughs> yes, it is, Wayne. You just don't know. Nutso is terrible in reading. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. That was before he got help. Well, he's just awful. Not so. No, not so has been tutored by Know It All. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Uh huh. You're not kidding. No. No, and he's helped him to get a better grade. That's right. He's going to get to go on an all day hike. As a reward. Yeah. yeah. Why? Because he got a B plus in reading. Well, I got an A in reading. Hey, well, that's real good, Shirley. We're real proud of you. We always are. That's right. Well, how come No Doubt doesn't take me on an all-day hike? Well, always. Shirley, you, you always get A's in yeah, reading. Yeah, you don't understand. But, but, I, I, I always get A's, but No Doubt has never, ever given me an all-day hike. Not ever. Well, well yeah. this is real special, you see, this Cheryl, different. because, you different. know, this is a reward. What do you mean, different? He gets a B plus and he goes. I get an A and I stay. Different. I'll say it's different. Oh, Shirley, you've got to be a little bit more understanding yeah. about this now. Know It Owl promised as a reward, if he got a B or better, Know It Owl was going to take Nutso and a friend, a friend on an all day hike. Nutso? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a friend? Yeah, a friend of his choice. He can take. Oh. Oh, I guess you're right then, Cassie. Anything to get old peanut butter brain to make an effort. <laughs> and besides, what the heck? I'll get to go along too. Uh. Sure. No one all knew that Nutso would invite me. Why, I'm not only a sister, you know. Why, we're <sighs> really close friends. You know, we go back a long way. Uh, Cheryl. Cheryl. Yeah, um, we go everywhere together. Shirley, um, I think Nutso invited a friend of his named Bob. Bob! We'll return to Hickory Hideout right after these messages. And now, back to Hickory Hideout. I guess so. How many Bobs does Nutso know? I just don't believe it. I just can't believe it. Bob! <laughs> is there something wrong with Bob? I mean, is he a troublemaker at school or something? Well, no. I bet I know, Cassie. I bet Bob wants Shirley to be his girlfriend, <laughs> right, Shirley? Wayne! Oh, how can you just suggest such a thing? Why, that, that's just... Awful! Why, why, Bob is so funny looking. You know, his nose is all wrong. A and he talks funny, too. All his kind talk funny. And worst of all, he smells. He smells awful. My mother says it's all right to be polite to his kind, but we should keep our distance and not be too friendly. Is he really as bad as all that, Shirley? Well, not him exactly. I mean... But all his kind. I mean, what would the neighbors say? Boy, I'd better go talk to him and straighten that brother of mine out. Oh, I can't believe it, Bob. I just can't believe it. That's horrible. You know, I have to admit, I can't really blame Shirley for being jealous and envious of the trip and all. Yeah. 
You know, I don't blame her at all either. She works so hard in school to get good grades, and then she doesn't ever get rewarded for it. I mean, it doesn't seem fair. Oh, come on, Cassie. Shirley gets rewarded every single day. Because she does better in school, she gets more privileges than anybody else, and, and she gets praise for her work every single day because she does well. And, and because she works harder, she gets more interesting stuff to do, like, like, like reading chapter books and stuff. Mm, I guess so. But maybe we could at least ask Noah at all if he could take Shirley along with them. No way, Cassie. This is Nutso's moment of glory. If he'd wanted to take his sister, he would have invited her. Well, I guess so. Come on, Cassie. Nutso's growing up. A guy should be able to go where he wants to without having to drag his sister along. I mean, after all, it, it, it's not fair for a guy. He should be able to strike out on his own and make new friends. Guy friends. All right, if you say so. Hey, you guys! Oh, ah, a skunk! Oh, oh my gosh, Cassie, uh, be careful, it's a skunk. Uh, like I said, is this here to hide out? Ah, uh, uh, yes it is. Yeah. yeah, I'm supposed to meet my buddy here. Let me see, I got his address. Oh, get the dirt! Oh, wait! Oh, come on, come on. I read someplace that in order for a skunk to squirt you, he's got to be facing the other way. Hey. Where'd everybody go? Uh, uh right here. Right here. <laughs> here we are. Hi. <laughs> yeah, uh, like I was saying. Yeah. Do you know my buddy? I'm supposed to meet him around here somewhere. Get in the dirt! I don't see him. Is it... Now where'd they go? Uh, here we are. <laughs> yeah, here, right oh. here. Yeah, I see. Uh, well, look, Laurel and Hardy. Uh, just tell me if you know my buddy Nutso. I'm supposed to meet him around here. Nutso? Well, Nutso and Shirley are our best friends. Oh, that's Shirley. Ugh, if she's around here, I'm leaving. Don't hit the dirt! Gee, look at you guys. Boy, do you make me ill. I mean, there you are, groveling around like a couple of dopes. Jeez, I wish you could see how dumb you look. Just because I'm a skunk. What do you think, anyway? You think I'm the kind of guy that just goes around zapping people well, and stuff? Yeah, I guess so. Well, you see, we never were this close to a skunk before. Yeah. Yeah, it figures. Uh, so, uh, you're in Nutter's class in school, huh? Yeah. You want to make something oh, out no, of it? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're one of his friends, then? Yeah. Yeah. And I just moved here. And uh. I suppose now you're saying, well, there goes the neighborhood. Oh, huh? no, 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 Mr. Yeah. Bob, no. Well, I'll tell you something. Smelly Bob's the name, skunk is the game. <laughs> and I goes where I wants, and I sits where I wants, and I don't take no guff from guys like you. You got it? Oh, yes, sir, Bob. Because yeah, Mr. Bob. if you don't, then Smelly Bob will... Dirt, get the dirt! <laughs> Look at those dopes. <sighs> we'll return to Hickory Hideout right after these messages. Now, back to Hickory Hideout. And there he was, she was shaking his tail at us. And he almost sprayed <laughs> us. No! Yes. You know, Cassie, he's always like that in school. Pushing everybody around and, and talking so loud and, and threatening people with that tail of his. They must be like that, I yeah. guess. Hey, hi guys! Hi, oh, hi Nutso. Hi, Nutso. Hey, did no one else show you my report card? Uh, sure did, Nutso. Congratulations, old boy. <laughs> that was great, Nutso. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, you know what? No one else is gonna take me and my pal on this all-day camping trip. <clears throat> yeah, we heard. You know what? There isn't a thing in this world that that smelly Bob doesn't know about. 
camping and hiking. <laughs> you know, Smelly Bot said that he would show me how to tell a nut tree from far, far away. Really? Yeah. And you know another thing? Smelly Bob, he can light a fire with flint and steel. Steel. You know, he has his own flint and steel set. Wow. Yeah. And Smelly Bob says, Smelly Bob, Smelly Bob, that's all I hear day and night. Smelly Bob this and Smelly Bob that. I'm sick and tired of hearing about Smelly Bob. Well, is that so? Well, you know another thing that Smelly Bob says? He says that a certain Miss Shirley Squirrely is prejudiced. No, I'm not. I'm not prejudiced. I'm not. I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Okay, no, I'm not. you two, cut it out. Well, how can I be prejudiced if I don't <laughs> even know what it means? Not prejudiced, Shirley. Prejudiced. Yeah, that's prejudice means that you don't really like somebody, not because of what he is, but because of what he is. Huh? Well, what she's saying is, is you never gave Smelly Bob a chance. You know that? You didn't even say two words to him before you decided that you didn't like him. Well, how could I like him? He's a skunk. So, he's still got feelings. He's still got his own personality. He smells. He does not. Yes, he does. All skunks smell. There. See, that proves it, Cheryl. You decided that you smelled him right away. No, I really did smell him. That's so. I smell him. He lives. He sits down two seats and over one at, for with me at school. Ha. See, that proves it. You smelled him, Cheryl, because you decided to smell him. For your information, Smelly Bob is a de-scented skunk. He doesn't have a scent gland. It was taken out when he was just a little kid. Well, I don't care. I really don't care. I smell him. I know he smells. A and what's more, if you want to hang out with some smelly old animal that lives in a hole in the ground, it's okay with me. But if you meet a park ranger on that hike, don't mention my name. Oh! Oh, Shirley! <laughs> Do something, someone quick! Yeah, Wayne, save him! Who, save me? her! Yeah! Help! Help! Wayne? I'm slipping! Well, here, Cheryl, give me your paw. I, I can't reach it! Well, reach, Cheryl, reach! I can't! I'm too far down! Oh, help me! Someone! Oh, I'm gonna have to get a rope or something. Stand back! I'm going down there! No, not so. You have to wait. Wayne, go get a rope, quick! We can't go down. Oh, help! Hey, sure. What you doing down here? Bob, is that you? Sure. This is my pad. Oh, Bob, I, Bob, I, I... If they're looking for nuts, so he ain't here. Uh, no, Bob, I, I, could you help me get out of here? I fell in. Gee, dumb squirrel. Hey, wait a minute. Don't be prejudiced. Sure. I won't if you won't. Mm. Oh, there she is. Oh, I got you. I got you. You're all right now. Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh. Hey, what about me? Oh, smelly Bob, I'll take you. Oh, Shirley. Shirley. Oh, what do you think? Smelly Bob saved your life. You might say he saved the fair moon. Oh, no. oh Wayne. Bob, I, I, I guess I misjudged you. I'm sorry, friends. Oh, well, I guess so. <laughs> when you try to judge a book by its cover And never take a look at what's inside Or you don't like something just because it's different or looks the same as something else you simply can't abide. Two things can look the same, maybe they're not. And if their name's the same, what have you got? Well, you'll never really know until you stop and take a look. 
It's just the same as opening up the covers of a book And folks that look the same inside or not And so you look within Oh, what have you got? A wonderful friend or neighbor just as fine and special as you And what have you done? You've just begun to make the world a peace A world of love and brotherhood for me and you Fellows, it's time to split. Oh, that's right. No, it all it's split, not rip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have a good time. Oh, well, yeah, thanks. See you guys. <laughs> See you. Bye bye. I got my gear in my pack. I got my pack on my back. Today's the day I'm going camping. Just got the go ahead sign, the weather's gonna be fine. Today's the day I'm going camping. I'm gonna pitch me a tent, won't have to pay any rent. It looks like everything is a okay. As far as I can see, I think it's gonna be a perfect camping day. Back to Hickory Hideout. I sure hope that Know It All gets back in time for the joke plants. Let's see if he's back okay. now. Know It All. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh. Oh, are you exhausted? Oh, oh, youth. Oh, sweet youth. Oh, oh. What, what did you do? Fun. Oh, hiked and camped and toasted marshmallows. Oh, oh it was wonderful. <laughs> well, speaking of toasting, I think we need some toasts for our plants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, toasts that are oh, yeah. jokes. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. This is from Jean Casta of Cleveland, Ohio, age eight. If one horse is shut up in a stable and another one is running loose down the road, which one is singing, don't fence me in? Well, the, the one, one in the that's running. Neither, because horses cannot sing. Oh. oh. There you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this like is from oh, yeah. Serena Dunsby of West Farmington, Ohio. What do <laughs> giraffes have that other animals can never have? You Baby know? giraffes. Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Serena Dunphy of West Farmington, Ohio. Okay. What is the best way to make a fire with two sticks? Um, light them with a match. Ah, ah. Make sure one of the sticks is a match. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the way you make a campfire, right? Mike? I learned that, yeah. yeah. This is from David Watson of Alliance, Ohio. What is a goat's favorite dessert? A goat's favorite dessert. Mm. I don't know. Banana cream pie. Oh. <laughs> John Hefferman of Spencer, Ohio. Why do vampires like bakers? Do vampires uh. like bakers? Because they taste batter. Better, better, better. This is from Kelly Bauer of East Cleveland. Why do elephants wear green sneakers? So they won't be seen in the lettuce patch? I don't know. What? <laughs> hide in the grass. Oh, hide in the grass. Oh, I got that. <laughs> Erica Lewis of East Cleveland, Ohio. What day is the best for boys? What day is the best for boys? I don't know. Son day. Like oh, son, Saturday. father, son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is from Brandon Goodman of East Cleveland. What kind of key can you eat? What kind of key? A turkey! A turkey! Right. Yeah. <laughs> From Keisha Dean of East Cleveland, Ohio. Mm -hmm. How do you know the ocean is friendly? Because it always waves. waves. <laughs> Ooh, I like the waves. We are good. This is from John Fleury of Strongsville. Who was the meanest and dirtiest apple that ever lived? Crab apple? The lone crab apple. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa Campagna of Jefferson, Ohio. Knock, okay. knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Howard. Howard, Howard who? who? I'm fine. How are you? Oh. oh. 
is from Allison Metty of Euclid, Ohio. What did the grape say when it got run over by a truck? You know? Something about the juice coming out of them. <laughs> I don't it know. It didn't say anything. It just gave out a little wine. Oh! oh no. Yes. <laughs> Jules DeMarco of North Canton, Ohio. Okay. What's the difference between a sewing machine and a kiss? A sewing machine and a kiss? One sews seems nice and the other seems so nice. Oh, right, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which one is which? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. This is from Jane Tobin of Cleveland, and she's five years old. Does the train run on time? Asks Bill. Jane answers, no, it runs on tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Jean Costa of Cleveland, Ohio. When is a shaggy dog most likely to enter a house? When is a shaggy dog most likely to enter? Uh, when? When? When I the don't door know. is open? When the door is open. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> no, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. This is from Jennifer Fleary of Strongsville. What did one arithmetic book say to the other? Problem? Boy, do I have problems. <laughs> <laughs> April Easton of Orwell, Ohio. Okay. What is gray with the tail and a trunk? Gray with a tail and a trunk? An a elephant. mouse on vacation. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> we got it! That's all the time we have for jokes today, but we always need lots more jokes. Remember to send your jokes to Plant a Joke at WKYC TV, 1403 East 6th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44114. And we'll read some on the air and we'll send you an autographed postcard. And don't forget to ask us anything. The squirrels have those encyclopedias and they want to answer your questions and send your questions too. Ask us anything. WKYC TV, 1403 East 6th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44114. Yep. And we'll send you that picture postcard with our autograph. See you next, See you next week. Bye bye. bye, -bye.